so yeah guys welcome to my channel and in this video i'm going to show you what to do after you have successfully rooted your android device so many people are actually confused what to install or whether to install that app or not so don't worry guys here your host mr namster and today i'm just uh, i'm just free of mind and i'm just really going to show you the top five apps which which you should probably install so many people uh, are already new or if you don't know so i will just uh, go for the titanium backup uh, one so if you really don't know what actually it is if you if you are having some pre-installed apps or bloatwares you can actually um, uninstall them directly from your um, android device but uh, if you uh, but but for that if you really don't know whether to uninstall that app or not please i will uh, request all guys to have a back of that app or t if you don't want then just click on the uninstall button so so i really don't want to uninstall but if you want to uninstall the app that you really don't want you can just click on the uninstall button and that's it you can remove all the bloatwares or, or the pre-installed apps which came from your android device directly um but this the but the but the the work which the titanium backup do can be actually also done by the app called the super user yeah, or super user or the super su it is just for the extra info for example um if you want to um for for example if you want to uh, uh yeah where it is super su if you are rooted with your android device with the super su you can actually go here and you can actually uninstall the pre-installed app from here also but the but what does the titanium backup does is if you can actually also create the backup of that instead of just uninstalling them so um here, here it was the the titanium backup so now the next thing uh, next app which we are going to uh, talk about is our link to SD so what actually the link to SD does is let me allow this it actually allows your all the apps or all the apps uh, and the other um, data to just move to your SD card so it is good right so you can actually increase your internal space and download any apps uh, from the Google Play Store if you want for example if I were uh, another thing you can do is directly um, clear all your app cakes at one click one of the most important thing about this app so I will just click the 40 MB as you can see the operation completed successfully and next you can do your uh, as you can see I will just as oh, no 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 just select the apps which you really um, let me sell go here and I will go for yeah um, total size yeah as you can see on SD card these are the apps which are which I've already installed them on my SD card so if you really want to install or link them to your SD card you can actually do this um, for example uh, just take an app for example this lucky patch here and I will just move this Android apps to SD card so what it really it will do is that actually it will just move the app which was previously installed in your um, uh, phone storage or the internal it will just move that app to your SD card so that is good right so so this was another app which will actually uh, increase your internal space if you are really um, if you really want to increase your um, uh, internal space or any storage so and another thing you can actually do is also um, also you can have the second partition um, uh, second partition but actually as you can see it is showing failure but as I am not I have not buy it but the another thing you can do is actually uh, install this app um, for the for the sake of free version as you can see clear all app cakes uh, thing it gives you and uh, and other things also just to move your any ga uh, apps or games to your SD card so that's it um, as you can see it also shows the movable option that yeah it can be moved to your phone storage or to your to SD card so that was another good thing um, so I will just I will just uh, exit with this app and now uh, the third app which I am going to use is the so called um, uh, room manager so what actually room manager is no doubt one of the one of those app that helps uh, flash custom uh, recover for followed by a custom uh, room 
uh, if you have a rooted device so that uh, you can install a custom room then this app is you uh, for you all it uh, tell uh, and it uh, lets your device uh, and also uh, your device enables you to reboot the recovery mode into us into in, uh, using a single tab so let it there and you can also use the clock uh, work recovery mode if you want so if you really want to install any custom room or sign more and in uh, any other room you can actually use this uh, it is a very um good app but if you are but if you're not really sure what this app uh, really do so if what if you're uh, are you i can say that if you're not really um familiar with what this app is then you can really skip this but you can actually install any room or uh, from your sd card or any other um instead of installing from your uh, com uh, from your com computer you're using sp flash or any other your uh, tools so that is the another thing and the uh, and the fourth app which i'm going to talk about is the ea uh, is the es file explorer so what actually this do um the one of the most important point of this app is that if you um if you are using a normal file manager uh, let me guess uh, which comes pre-installed in your android device uh, symbol like this so uh, it it really do not give you the brief explanation or the the depth uh, or it not takes you the depth of the your file so let me show what actually the difference between the normal file manager and and your uh, es file explorer is so le let's go here tools um, system manager sd card yeah as you can see i can really go in depth of my any file which i was unable to see or which is hidden um you can just tap and just uh, actually you can go to the any depth and you can actually edit the file also if you want so that's it and and yeah i've already made uh the uh, no permission to delete video i will just put in the uh, link in above the video so it will also show you that i was not able to delete some file in the normal file manager but you can actually delete, uh, delete those files in in the in the um in the file uh, in the es file explorer so it will so i think you really uh, understand wh what actually the main difference between the normal file manager and the ES file explorer is so lastly but not the least um, if you love recording your Android screen so actually um, it is uh, it is only for rooted device if you have it is not only for rooted and it is also for non rooted but as of Android 4.4 version you must have uh, rooted um, your Android device to record your screen so another thing I will I'm just currently using the SHOU screen recorder to record my screen so as you are familiar you if you want to record your gameplays or any other thing you can actually just use or the sh show uh, screen recorder another alternative of shu i will just suggest, suggest you all guys uh, to use scr uh, it is also a best good app but um, i will just uh, but the one of the main thing about this shu that you can um, record your screen in up to 8 megapixels or above uh, so it gives you a really clarity so hey guys these are my top 5 apps i think you really love to uh, in, enjoy watching this of 2016 and that's it guys um hope you really like this and till then bye bye and please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe yeah so this is your host mr Niam, sir signing out see ya next time in next video bye bye